Hi guys, welcome to Digital RNK YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how to rank your website on top of Google search results. For instance, you have a website and you want to rank this website on the Google search results. Now, if you search for your website on Google, your site doesn't show up on Google. Now, the question is how to bring our website to show up on Google search results. So, in this video, you are going to learn how to do search engine optimization or SEO for your website and bring your website on top of search results. And also, we are going to see how to rank your website with the search term which you want. So what happens next? Once your website starts showing up on Google search results, you are going to get more visitors to your website. I am Nandi Kishore for digitalonk.com. So if you are ready, let's get started. Before we begin with the steps, I would like to take you through some fundamentals of SEO. First, let's understand how Google ranks a website on the search results. For instance, you are trying to search for something on Google, let's say family restaurants in Bangalore. As you can see, you will get these results. You might have a question about how these results are displayed here. So what are the criteria Google is looking to display these results? Google wants to show the best and most relevant content for its users. Now, these are the results that Google think it solves the problem of its users. So to rank your website on Google search, we are going to follow three steps. Step number one, create content that ranks on Google search. So in order to create the content first, we need to find out what people are searching for. How do we find the search term that people are searching on Google? To find the search term, I'll go to Google and for instance, you are running a restaurant and you want to know what people are searching for. Family restaurants and the moment you type, you will find more search terms that people are searching for related to family restaurants. Now let's say you want to reach these people. To find more search terms searched by people, just click the down arrow on your keyboard to select the keyword. And if you hit the space bar, you can see even more terms searched by people. Now you might ask a question, how are these keywords being displayed? Because these are the search terms that more people are searching on Google search engine. So once you have figured out the keywords, next you gotta choose the people who you want to reach. So it's up to you, you can select any of these users. I'm going to select these users, best family restaurants in Jayanagar. So once you have selected the audience type, now it's time to find out what these users might be looking for. You gotta think that if a user searches for this, what exact information they are looking for. So in this scenario, the user is very clear with the search intent that they are looking for the best family restaurants in the Jayanagar location. So once you have identified what the user is looking for, we can move on to the next step, actually creating content on your website. In order to rank, you need to create relevant content that solves the user's query. Next, let us see how you can create content. In order to create content, you need to log into your website. If you don't have a website, don't worry, I've got a simple tutorial. You can click the above link to watch and also you can check description box to find out the link. Now to create content, go to the dashboard and just go to post and click add new. First, we need to enter the title. Now we are creating content for the users who are looking for the best family restaurants, Jayanagar, Bangalore. Once you have entered the title, next we need to enter the body content that solves the user's query. Since the users are trying to figure out the best family restaurants in Jayanagar, I'm going to add the best list of family restaurants in Jayanagar. So once you have added the content, we need to make it readable for the users with the proper headings. To add headings, just click here and select headings. Similarly, we will do it for all the headings. So 
So once you have added the headings, we need to make our post look attractive. Let's add some images. So let's say you want to add an image here, just drag and drop it here. And if you want to add more images, then you can do it with the same drag and drop method. We have successfully completed creating the content for the users. Now it's time to publish the content on the internet. To publish, just click on publish and immediately the content will be published on your website. Let us check how our new post looks. To view your post, click on view post and as you can see, we have our new blog content. So this way you can create the content on your website which solves the user's query and rank on Google as well. Step number two, on-page SEO. Now you need to do on-page SEO for your site to make it look good on the Google search results. Now we will check how our site looks on Google. So our site is not yet ranked on Google search, but you can see the example of how it shows if it ranked. We have three things right here, title, description, and a link to the post. So as you can see, the link is not properly optimized. But if you see other sites, the links are proper and clear. Next, we will see how we can make the link look more clear and readable. Go to your dashboard and go to settings and click on permalink. You will come to this section. Now here you can change the way your post links are displayed on Google. By default, it is set to plain, which means it shows the post ID. So we will change it to post name. Now all your post and page links are updated in this format. And click save changes. Now I go to my post and click refresh. We can see the updated links in a proper readable format. So now, when our site shows on Google, instead of displaying like this, it will show like this. Now you have understood how you can control the title and post links. But how about the description? Yes, when you publish a post to Google, it automatically generates descriptions from the post initial content. But if you want to show a different text instead of random text, then follow the next step. Let's see how to add the description to your blog post. By default, WordPress doesn't have this feature, but we can do it with the help of an additional plugin. So to install a plugin, go to the dashboard and go to plugins and click add new and search for rank math. You will get this plugin rank math SEO to install click install and click activate. As you can see, the plugin has been successfully installed. Now, if we go to our post, on the right side, you have this option. Click on that and you can see this edit segment option. Before you click on that, we need to add something called focus keyword right here. That's nothing but your primary keyword you have on your title of the post. The best family restaurants in Jayanagar. So I'm going to enter the primary keyword here. As you can see here, the number has changed to 69. So our goal is to improve this number to 80 minimum. Once you have done that, next click on the edit snippet. Now you can change the title, link and description. Awesome, right? Now I'll remove this and enter the title again. And I'll add the description. Here you can see the preview as to how your site looks on Google search. Now we need to add the alt text to images so that it helps Google crawlers or bots to understand what these images are. So to add alt text, click on this gear icon and click on the image and enter the text. To improve the score further, we need to include the primary keyword to the subheadings. So click here and enter the primary keyword. Similarly, 
I'm going to enter it for all. Now, if you see here, the word count is below 600. So let me add some more content. Yeah, there we go. One last thing is we need to add an outbound link to external resources. So for instance, I'm going to add the link of this Kufa restaurant. Click on this and copy and select the text and click this and paste the link. As you can see, now we have successfully achieved minimum score of 80. To save the changes, just click on update. So that's how you can add the title, link and description to your post and do the on-page SEO. Doing this optimization not only ranks better on Google search results, but also entices the users to click on the link and read your content. So we have successfully done the on-page SEO. Step number three, technical SEO. Don't be intimidated by the word technical SEO. We are going to do all the technical aspects of the SEO with the help of a plugin. You have published the content to the internet, but how will Google know about your content? To help Google find your website and your content, we got to share your site with Google. So next, we are going to tell Google about your website and its content. To do this, we are going to do three steps. First, we are going to install a plugin on our website. So to install a plugin, go to the dashboard and go to plugins and click add new and search for Google Site Kit. And you will get this plugin which has over 2 plus million installations. Just click install now and click activate. As you can see the Google Site Kit plugin has been installed successfully on our site. So once you have installed the Google Site Kit plugin, it's time to move to the next step which is to set up this plugin. Now click on start setup and you will get this page. Click on sign in and enter your email and click allow. To complete the setup, click on verify, then click allow and ultimately click on setup. Now we have successfully set up the plugin. Let's click on go to my dashboard and click go to settings. You can see that Google search console is connected to our website. Next up, we have to tell Google about all the pages that we have on our website. For instance, you have published multiple pages and posts on your website. Now, how will Google find all these posts and pages link? So to notify Google about these posts and pages, we need to submit a sitemap that looks something like this. So sitemap is a file that provides information about the pages, posts and other links present on your website. To submit the sitemap to Google, first we need to get the sitemap link from your Rank Math SEO plugin. To get that, go to the dashboard and hover on Rank Math and click on sitemap settings. Click on this to access your sitemap. Now we got the sitemap which has all the posts and pages links. To submit this sitemap to Google, go to your WordPress dashboard and then hover on Google Site Kit and click on the dashboard. Now to access the Search Console dashboard, click here to open the full site and you will come to this page. Now to submit sitemap, just click sitemaps here. Here you need to enter the sitemap link. To get that, let's go to our sitemap and copy this part and come back here and paste it. Once you have pasted the sitemap, next click on submit. And as you can see, we have successfully submitted our sitemap. Now going forward, if you publish new content, it will be automatically added to your sitemap. So this is how you can tell Google about the pages, posts, links on your website. Well done, you have successfully optimized your website. Let's check it on Google. 
So before our website wasn't shown on search results. Let's click refresh. There we go. As you can see, our website has started displaying on Google search results. So this is how you can rank your website on Google search results. Now you need to remember a few things in this tutorial. It takes some time for Google to index your site and rank for a relevant search term. Google always wants to show the best quality content to its users. So you got to do some research on how your competitors are doing and ensure you create the best content. And remember, don't copy content that others have posted. Your content should be uniquely crafted and something fresh to offer for your visitors. All right. Now you have understood how to bring your website on the search results and rank with keywords. That's it guys. Hope you have learned something new and interesting today. If you like this tutorial and would love to see more on SEO, smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I request you to subscribe and be part of the Digital Anki family. Also, to get the latest video updates and notifications, please turn on the notification bell to all. Thank you guys. See you in my next interesting video. Peace out.